Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS TOF Gaming A15 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can clean and repaste your heatsink and your CPU and your GPU, clean it up the fan system, everything like that. I'm just gonna go run over really quickly over the tools that I'll be using and you should be doing this service once in a while, at least once every year. Uh, you can check your temperature if you find your temperature keep increasing up to 19 and 100 and you might want to repaste. To do repaste, you're not changing any configuration or anything like that, or you're not going to lose any files. It's really easy. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. I'm going to use the first tool that I'll be using in a uh, workshop towel. So we're going to grab one sheet of the workshop towel right here and we're going to put it on top of that we're going to flip it upside down so you don't want to scratch the top part and we're going to grab another one sheet extra to clean up the old thermal paste so these workshop workshop towels are really good to use for servicing next you need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic 99 percent plus is really important you don't want to use any 70 percent pharmacy alcohol you need a screwdriver set. I would recommend you guys grab the iFixit screwdriver set. You can get the Pro set. They will include you with the tweezers and pliers, a few other stuff, opening tools. If not, grab yourself the basic set the screwdriver. These are made out of S2 class steel. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. And in this case, I have the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. For thermal paste, I recommend you guys to use Arctic MX4. This is more than fine. We have tested and so go with this one. But if you want to go a little crazy, a little better, go with the Noctua brand, Noctua NT-H1. These are really good. Over the board, you can go with Thermal Grizzly Fire Nut. Again, I'll leave those links in the video description in case you want it. And one spatula is fine to have a plastic one sometimes. And with all that, you need a used toothbrush, an uh, old toothbrush or new toothbrush to clean the fan system. But with all this set, and let's go ahead and remove the screws. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There's a three types of screws: the long one, the medium, and the short one. The only short screw is the bottom left side, so you're gonna remove this one on the bottom corner left and put it in one pile and the second short one is not going to come out has a little c-lock on it is on the other side on the right side the c-lock has a purpose i'll go we're going to leave this for the last one the two long ones are these two back mids so we're going to remove these two long ones and keep them in one pile and we're going to remove all the medium screws including the one in the middle two in the front these are all medium screws and keep them in another pile also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out to do your own servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment areas. All right, now that we remove the medium screws, we're gonna go ahead and work on the C-lock screw right here. The C-lock has a purpose. The purpose is as soon as you start turning the screw once you hit set the final you're gonna separate the cover right in here it's not focusing right there it's gonna separate the bottom cover about one millimeter or less than a millimeter so enough for you to stick it up in the squeezer right in there the guitar pick right there and then all you need to do is just twist it and it should release the clips on the bottom cover you want to hear those big sound click sounds those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that on the left. You stick the guitar pick about two millimeter inward. You don't want to stick the whole guitar pick in there. So do the left and the right side. So stick it right there and just twist it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm sticking it right there. Uh, I can't see the camera is on my way. Oh, I missed a screw right here. That's why. There's one screw. Come here. All right, so do the left and the right side, squeeze. And once you do the front and the side, you don't need to do the back, that's not necessary. As long as you do the side and the front, grab it, wiggle it around, 
and I lift it up and you're gonna hear that big clicks that's the back cover that gets loose, the back side that gets loose then you can take it outside and clean up the bottom cover right there it's kind of dirty this is for demonstration I'm gonna reopen and clean it up again all right down here we're gonna see the battery first we're gonna disconnect the battery to disconnect the battery you need to you don't need to remove the screws all you need to do is put your fingernails at the side of the jack right there and pull it towards the battery evenly and it will disconnect right there next we're gonna remove the flex cable for the lcd just lift it up from this side 90 degree and pull the jack out untangle it from the fan side i'll be using a tweezer a curve tweezers to put it beside the fan jacks and then pull it back like that and this side too so we're gonna put it beside the jack i don't like yanking on the cables disconnect it now we cannot just remove the fan they will not come because they have a little hinge that goes under the heat sink so you can't just remove the fan nine or of them so we're gonna first remove the heat sink there's a four screws on the cpu side and four screws on the gpu side go ahead and remove these tiny short screws Okay, now we remove those short screws. We can grab it right in here. Don't grab it from the far side, from the center side, and just lift up the heat sink. Bring it up easily. Bring it up, and that's it. Now you can see this thermal. This is not a thermal paste, the one on the component. This is a thermal gel or thermal putty. You, you cannot use a thermal uh, paste on this component. You have to use a thermal putty or thermal uh, gel. I'll leave the link on uh, for the thermal gels, or you can just scrap them and reuse them if you have enough. Okay, you can go ahead, take it outside and clean up the dust in here with a toothbrush and blow some air to the fans and clean it up nicely. Okay, and the fans in here, you can remove the fans. Each one of them has a two screws. One of them has two and the other one has three screws. So remove the two screw on this fan and lift it up take it outside use a toothbrush and just clean it up and blow some air through it all right i don't want to make the video longer for this one too there's a three screws one right here two three screws and the fan comes out take it outside and clean it up to put it back together one three screws on this fan and two screws on that other fan now you see why I say you can't remove the fan without the heat sink because of this plastic right in here. Okay, let's put the two screws on this fan right here. And whenever you put the fan always back on the board, make sure, people make sure that you put the fan connected. People always forget it, but they leave it for the end. Just slide it in there and done. You don't have to worry about it. Just always make it a habit to, to get it in quickly. Grab the LCD cable. Tangle it around the fan, slide it down in 45 degree all the way inside the jack and close the lid right on top. Okay, now we're gonna grab the workshop top, uh, part of it. We're gonna grab an alcohol, 99%, squeeze it right in there. And we're gonna clean up the CPU, just wipe over. You don't have to worry about the capacitors on the side as long as the crystal die is clean and you're fine. And clean up this one. This is why I like this towel. Once you hit the alcohol on it, it will not damage the capacitors around it. It will rip itself before damaging any capacitors. Make sure to clean it nicely. There's no dust particle or anything on top. Same thing in here. Clean it up nicely. Once it's nice and clean, I don't have any thermal putty right now. Otherwise you'll be cleaning all this and applying a, a whole blob of the one drop of thermal putty on top of the VRAMs. And the VRAMs the same way with the workshop towel and alcohol, you can clean it up and done. And for to put in thermal paste, one drop in the CPU in the middle, nice amount. And one big line in the middle of the GPU. This is an RTX 260. 
right there that's more than enough and the last thing is to just grab the heat sink bring it over align it and put it down once you put it down do not lift it up and put the screws there's a lot of numbers on the screws and it tells you one two three four there's always cross so you can go four three two one or one two three four doesn't matter as long as you cross screw them follow the numbers if you don't want to worry just like that and that should be fine okay now that we have it in place all you need to do is make sure you have the cable connected the battery don't forget it evenly goes inside the jack if it goes inside the jack evenly right there you squeeze it right in there and all set everything is nicely tucked in grab the bottom cover bring it on top squeeze down make sure you hit those nice big clicks tighten up the tighten up the tiny screw that has a seal lock Put the two long screws mid back and the short screw right on the bottom left side and the rest of the screws all over the screw hole that you can see on the bottom. And if you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.